Hi friends, today we are going to see about the, uh, some problems from the topic wave motion. Okay, the first problem is what is the distance travelled by sound in air when a tuning fork of frequency 256 hertz completes 25 vibration. The speed of sound in air is 343 meter second minus 1. Okay, so first you write the given data. Here the given values are the speed of sound in air. Okay, so uh, we write V equal to 343 meter second minus 1. That is velocity of air. Okay, so the next one is frequency. Frequency N equal to 256 hertz. Okay, so the next we find out the distance travelled by sound in air. Okay, so d equal to what? Okay, uh, now we write the formula v velocity equal to n lambda. Okay, first you find the what is the value of uh, wavelength lambda. Okay, so lambda equal to v by n. Substitute the values of v and n in this equation. We get the value 1.3398 meter. Okay, so here the wavelength is the distance travelled by the wave in one complete vibration of the tuning fork. Okay, so the wavelength is the one complete uh, vibration okay here uh, the question asked for 25 vibrations okay so uh, we mul uh, we multiply 25 multiply into lambda values okay so distance traveled by sound wave in 25 vibration equal to 25 multiply 1.3398 then we get the answer 33 0.49 meter okay so distance traveled by sound wave is 33.49 meter okay the next problem is determine the velocity and the wavelength of sound of frequency 256 hertz traveling in water of bulk modulus 0.022 multiply 10 to the power 11 pascal okay and then here the given values are uh, bulk modulus. So, bulk modulus we can write k. Okay. So, k equal to 0 0.022 multiply 10 to the power 11 pascal. Then frequency n equal to 256 hertz. Then we find the, uh, the, then we find the value of velocity v and the lambda. Okay. So, first uh, write the formula for velocity, uh, velocity of sound. Okay. So, um, that is velocity of sound in water uh, v equal to root of k by rho okay so here um, that is the formula uh, connecting the velocity and the bulk modulus k okay so v equal to root of k by rho so the uh, density of water uh, rho is the density of water so the, the, the value of density of water is 100 kg m minus 3 okay so now substitute the value of k and rho then we get a uh, value 1.483 meter second minus 1. Okay. This is the value for velocity. Next we find the value of lambda. So lambda formula is lambda equal to V by N. Velocity by frequency. So the velocity value is uh, 1.483 by uh, n value is 256. The, we multiply these two values. We get the answer 5.79 meter. Okay. The next problem is a string of length 1 meter and mass 5 multiply 10 to the power minus 4 kg fixed at both ends is under a tension of 20 N. If it vibrates in two segments, determine the frequency of vibration of the string. Here we find the value of frequency. Okay. Um, here the string vibrates with two segments the string vibrates in two parts okay so first you write the given values um, here uh, we check p equal to two loops okay that is uh, two parts two segments so we write p equal to two loops then l equal to one meter the string of length is uh, one meter okay so l equal to one meter then mass mass of the string m equal to 5 multiplied 10 to the power minus 4 kg 
meter minus 1 okay so then uh, t time the tension t equal to 20 n okay 20 newton then we find the value of what is the n okay so here uh, the frequency of vibration formula is n equal to p by 2 l root of p by m okay so here p is the 2 loops that is 2 by 2 l value is 1 meter okay so 2 into 1 then root of tension t is 20 by m m value is um, 5 multiplied 10 to the power minus 4 okay so uh, we simplify this values we get the answer 200 hertz okay so the frequency of vibration is 200 hertz next one problem 4 the velocity of sound at 27 degrees celsius is 347 meter second minus 1 calculate the velocity of sound in air at 627 degrees celsius ok here uh, the velocity of uh, sound at 27 degrees celsius so we can write v27 equal to and the v27 equal to 347 meter second minus 1 ok now we calculate what is the velocity at uh, what is the velocity of sound at 627 degree celsius ok so here use the formula that is velocity v is proportional to root of t ok so we find the ratio of v27 by uh, v to 627 ok so v27 by v uh, v627 equal to root of um, here t that is a uh, uh, 27 degree celsius is converted into kelvin value so uh, we can add 273 okay so 273 plus 27 by 273 plus 627 okay uh, here um, we convert uh, degree celsius into kelvin so we uh, add 273 okay so the next uh, we say you simplify these values we get root of 300 by 900 okay then and uh, the, the that is uh, that, that is root of 1 by 3 okay so the ratio of v27 by v627 equal to root of 1 by 3 from this we calculate what is the uh, velocity of sound at uh, 627 degrees celsius okay so uh, velocity uh, v 627 equal to uh, v27 multiply root 3 okay so v27 that is velocity at 27 degrees celsius is 347 meter second minus 1 it is given in the sum okay so 347 multiply root 3 so root 3 value is 1.732 then we multiply with 347 we get answer 601 meter second minus 1 okay so the velocity of sound in air at 627 degree celsius is uh, 601 meter second minus 1 okay next problem is a string of mass 0.5 kg and length 50 meter is stretched under a tension of 400 n a transverse wave of frequency 10 hertz travels through the wire now we calculate calculate the wave velocity and wavelength and how long does the disturbance to take to reach the other end okay uh, this sum has two parts in the first part we calculate wave velocity v and wavelength lambda okay uh, so first you write the given data so that is mass equal to 0 0.5 kg and length is 50 meter then tension t equal to 400 n then frequency n equal to 10 hertz okay and then we calculate the value velocity lambda and the uh, time that is the second part is how long does the disturbance that is the time okay so um, uh, the time can be calculated so next one is uh, we write the uh, formula for velocity okay so velocity in this stretched string v equal to root of t by m okay here m means that is mass per unit length 
okay so but the sum uh, sum uh, in the sum mos value is given okay so uh, from this mos value we find out the value of mos per unit length that is m by l okay so m value is 0.5 by l value is 50 okay so then mos per unit length is 0.01 kg m minus 1 Okay. Now substitute this uh, mass per unit length in the uh, equation of velocity. Okay, that is velocity be equal to root of uh, 400 by 0 0.01. Okay, uh, 400 is the tension value. Okay, so divide these two uh, values, we get 200 ms minus 1. Okay, that is the velocity values then we find the uh, wavelength okay so v equal to n lambda so v velocity value is 200 then n value is 10 then lambda so from this we calculate the value of lambda lambda equal to 20 meter okay so next the second part of the sum is time taken for the transverse wave to travel a distance 50 meter Okay, so that is we calculate the value of t. So, t equal to length by uh, lambda values. Okay, so 50 by 200. So, we get the answer 0 0.25 second. Okay, so that's all friends. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.